If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. After saving recurring transactions, you can easily change the saved recurring transactions without affecting any previously created transactions. The changes are only applied to future transactions you create. To view your recurring transactions in QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Recurring Transactions link under the Lists heading to open the Recurring Transactions page. To create a new recurring transaction in this page, click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open a Select Transaction Type window. Select the type of recurring transaction to create from the Transaction Type drop-down in the Select Transaction Type window. Then click the OK button in the window to open a new recurring transaction window for the selected type of transaction. Enter the template name and set the pattern of recurrence at the top of the recurring transaction template window that then opens. Enter the information to save as part of the recurring transaction template below that. This information changes depending on the type of transaction you are creating. To save it, then click the Save Template button in the toolbar in the lower right corner of the Recurring Transaction window. To filter the Recurring Transactions list, click the Filter drop-down in the upper left corner of the page to show a drop-down menu. Then use the Template Type and Transaction Type drop-downs in the drop-down menu to apply your desired filters. To apply the filter after entering the desired filtering criteria, click the Apply button in this drop-down menu. To clear an individual filter after applying it, click the X button that appears to the right of the filter's name in the list of filters to the right of the filter drop-down. Alternatively, to clear all applied filters, click the Clear Filter slash View All link to the right of the filter drop-down. To print the recurring transactions list, click the Print List button in the upper right corner of the list to open a new page or tab with a printer-friendly view of the list. Your web browser's print dialog box also opens, letting you easily print the list. You can close this new web page or tab when you are done printing it. To change the number of rows shown per page in the list, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the list, and then select a choice from the Rows drop-down that then appears. To perform an action on a saved recurring transaction, Click the command or click the drop-down arrow and then select a command under its action column. To edit a recurring transaction, click the edit command under its action column. Then make your changes and save them by clicking the save template button in the window that opens. Alternatively, to use a saved recurring template to create a new transaction, select the use command from the drop-down under its action column. To duplicate a saved recurring transaction, Select the Duplicate command from the drop-down under its action column. Then make your changes and enter a new recurring transaction name in the new window that appears and click the Save Template button to save it. To delete a recurring transaction, select the Delete command from the drop-down under its action column. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation window that opens to confirm its deletion. To pause a recurring transaction, if available for the type of recurring transaction, select the Pause command from the drop-down under its action column. Then click the Pause button in the confirmation window that appears. This disables the recurring transaction. To resume a paused recurring transaction, select the Resume command from the drop-down under its action column. Then click the Resume button in the confirmation window that appears to re-enable it. To skip the next date for a recurring transaction, if available, select the Skip Next Date command from the drop-down under its action column. Then click the Skip Next Date button in the confirmation window that appears to skip the next instance of the recurring transaction. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. 
get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.